and that's the thing I'm <coughs> I'm still kinda Actually I'm gonna just let Actually I'll just let you go. I can stay nose and tail with you for a long time. <laughs> I'm sure you can. I'll just let you go. And that's and that's one thing I'm working on man. That's one thing that gets me is just just the pressure. Patience, man. That's the biggest thing, man, you can deal with. Is make sure you got the patience. I'm kind of scared on those uh, starts now, man, because they changed them. And I got a bad habit of jumping them. So I'll make sure that thing uh, is a uh, total green almost now before I jump it. Used to it, I'd anticipate it. But now I kind of, eh. <laughs> You know? No, because I don't want to take that 19 second. What's it called? Yeah, he's back there. Yeah. Down the street. Damn. Damn. Make sure you put them tires on the outside of that green line, just right on it. You know what I mean? That's where I learned on that turn. Yeah. Yeah, I just try to make sure I, I just got my tires either on the green line or just right on the outside of them. Uh, hang on just a second, I'll tell you right for 170. Yeah, that's just where the downforce plays an effect. I mean, that's the biggest thing, man. Look, speak for yourself. I'm running no downforce, dude. You tell me it don't grip. Whoa! Yeah. Watch, see, I put my wheels right there. That's another thing, man. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Oh! It hurt. sit next time I come around.
break another. I can get away with touching these right here or some of the other ones now. Nah. I can get away with hitting that one right there, but like this one up here though, man. I can hit that first one, but will you take that second one? Forget about it. Do that little S turn style. Oh, you went wide. There you go. That's a good turn right there. You do that. You do that each time, man. Down the second, hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes. I went a little bit too hard. Try to drive it consistent, man. Lap after lap. I mean, the biggest thing that's going to beat us is ourselves, you know what I mean, I think. Who knows? Ugh! Yeah, why don't you do that, man? Got suspension damage. Who did? I heard him saying. Oh, was that was that saying? Yeah. Oh, my mic's really close. My bad. Oh, you got your TV up? Nah, I got me. Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Mm. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I I haven't even. I can't remember the last time I actually heard my sound system and it's fucking beastly. But, you know, when you live with your mother in law and she's a cranky old cunt that goes to bed at, I kid you not, 6 o'clock night. Wow. That's bedtime. Thank And she's up. She's up at 4 30. Damn. To, to, get on, to get on the treadmill. Um, like she, she's 73 years old and got one of those Fitbit things, you know, the little arm wrist thing that measures how far you walk each day and your heart rate and all that sort of stuff. Right. 73 years old, she's putting in 12 to 14 miles a day. Damn. 
Okay, ready? Crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. You need to practice uh, saying. Uh -huh. Huh? Ah, yeah, he's got Not a big. He's, he's got a big mouthful of grog there. <laughs> All right. You're never gonna get in between a man and a and well, when when that beer can or bourbon can hits the lips, nothing's being said for five seconds. Damn. <laughs> do I know oh. you too well? You do actually. That's uh, beat that up. Cracks, the best taste you'll ever get out of a can is out of any fucking sip. <laughs> I'm telling you. Nah, just let me know if you want, if you need to practice or not. Uh, before you no, no, uh, yeah, be before good. you skip before you skip it, um, well, hey. yeah. what are you running your um, force feedback? Because I've been playing around with the force feedback. Um, I haven't I haven't messed with it. I need to mess with it, but I'm running 26, 60, 40, 80, 80, all zeros, and then uh, uh, 26, zero, and 80, and zero. I mean, I haven't messed with it any because. Just I just haven't messed with it yet. I need to. It's a little strong, but you know. So um, I was looking at the Jack Spade, the recent one, um, yeah. 2.2, and he said basically it doesn't matter what wheel you have, the global setting should be 100% on the force feedback and 100 um, tire force, and that's a fucking brute. And what you have to have um, arms like Popeye. Uh, I don't like that. I like I bring the tire force down. So. Well, that's what I just did um, before we started up. I actually um, put the tire force back down to um, 55. Yeah. It feels a little light. Um, and I think I'm running um, 26. So I'm actually push that to 28 just to compensate. Right. I got strong uh, force feedback. I mean, it's strong. So. Yeah, the thing that, that I've still been struggling with is that dead zone. Um, and, you know, the stronger the force feedback, the more you notice it. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't have a. I don't feel it. So I don't. I don't. I don't know. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm good to go, man. This is much better. Alright. Alright. Uh, right. Let's go to qualifying. Huh? You wanna do qualifying or just wanna get into it? Uh no, no, we got it. Sorry. Uh, Alright. I've never seen that view before. Keep an eye on the lights, watch out for wheel spin, and let's nail this start. <laughs> I'll haunt your McLaren, man. testing to see what's that oh I'm just testing yeah oh I'm just testing what I run behind uh, somebody oh what I know
Yeah, the Audi, the Audi's uh, all-wheel drive. No, I think the actually the Nissan and the Audi are actually four-wheel drive cars, I believe. I think. Yeah, but the P, the McLaren P1 is an all-wheel drive. That's a two-wheel drive car. No, the P1 isn't an all-wheel drive. It's a two-wheel drive car. That's what that GT3 is based off of. Yeah. I mean, it's a beast of a car. Yeah, but it's a, it is a two-wheel drive car. Tear that McLaren up in front of me. Yeah. He better go. He better trade it in for a new one. Man, that's what you call this out breaking somebody right there, boy. <laughs> Uh, dude, I was inside, out breaking. Yeah. Yep, I was there. <laughs> can't let can't let Prom get too far ahead of me. I mean, if you're side by side going into a corner, it's going to be personal preference whether or not you want to stay or not. I mean, you got to look. On a 44 lap race, you're not going to want to drive in the corners every damn time you turn around because you can't win it on the damn 10th lap. Last lap? Yeah, sure. Because you're going to take a gonna take a chance man of it uh what's it called I try not to pass or or go into somebody unless I, I know I can get beside of them. Top end right here. <laughs> See, like right there, I let you go, man, right there, because I didn't have the line. That's just one. See, something like that is what you just let let them go. But yeah, the no downforce, that's where you get it. Too wide, too wide, man. See, and that's what I'm talking about right there. Ride behind somebody till they make a mistake. They gonna make it. Patience, man. Yeah, forget about it. Drive your own race, man. If I see somebody, well, here's the thing. If I see somebody that's that much faster, I'm letting them go. 
because I ain't gonna take a chance of them running their ass in or front end up my damn ass in a turn. You know what I mean? If they're that much faster than me, go on. You know? Because I'm a run. Well, that's that's his philosophy and not mine, so you know and but Mr. White Dragon but Mr. White Dragon, how many races does he win in a in an endurance style race? So, I mean, well, I'm gonna give you one time to hit me. You hit me one time deliberately, I'm gonna let that slide. You do it again, I'll be waiting for you the next time around the track. Okay? You won't. You won't. Right, you won't you won't finish that race, you know what I mean? So Take his rear end out. Not by the rules, they'd penalize him in real racing. Okay, I'll teach you something, motherfucker. Do that shit to me one time. You're gonna be handing off into the wall somewhere. That's all I gotta say. Just ran a 45 over, man, right there. Damn, went in too fast. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, Sane is really excited about next week's race, Monza. He is all pumped up. He says he can run 146s around it, so. We get past this one, that's our goal. Yeah, that's our, no, I mean, um, uh, sand. Sorry, getting mixed up. Um, he's all, he's all pumped up about that one. So he says he's the, he says that's the fastest, he's the fastest there. So I said, all right, dude. Well, we'll just have to throw us a tune on this car. And see what we can do. I, I told him, I said, well, you know, I beat some tier one guys on that track, so I guess I'm slow. <laughs> That's what he says. That's what he says. That's his average time for 146s. But that's fine. I'll run them. If it can be done, I'll do it. Better believe I'll bring this MT car man to the party. Yeah, I think the hell. Why? I ain't won no race yet. I mean I have been I have been pretty much Pretty much, man. I should have had a Hockenheim. I should have had Silverstone, but I mean, I have been one of the fastest, but you know that don't equate to wins, man. So you got to put it all together. Unfortunately, it just hasn't come together yet. I've been pretty consistent, though. I'm happy with that. 
I mean, I can't believe I'm only 11 points out of second place. I'm like, hmm, I got a chance to get second. We're two le two races. Yeah, we're two races down. Bogus is going to be hard to catch because he's pretty consistent and he's raced every race, you know, this season. So, but Sam's not very consistent. He's had little problems. John Wiggs not consistent. Uh, Indigo killed himself by missing these two races. Yeah, he won the last one, but I mean, he's he's dropped in points now. I see the, the time before, yeah, he won Road America, but the time before, remember, he didn't do too well. He hadn't done too well since then. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been pretty consistent being here, and I think now maybe since you've got a newer car here, maybe you'll finally find being consistent. Damn, I'm going to shoot that turn. What? Run your race, run your race, man. That's all you gotta do. I'm not running very fast, I'm only running 45s. There's only one Bentley, and that's Flip. Now, I think Sam said the Audi guys are coming back this week. Yeah, I ain't worried about him, man. I didn't see him race, so. A 45 2 right there. Oh, yeah. I'm just curious to see what this car is going to do once it once it gets warm. The tires get worn down a little bit. Can I stay in the 45s? My driver's side rear's got a tad bit of wear, but not much. I mean, it's, it's not much, it's like barely. Yeah, it's not much. The car still feels good though. There's a 44.7. Whoa, I hit the curb. I hit the curb right there. That'll be a 45 lap right there. I hit that damn curb. I almost threw it.
Who? Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, man. Only lap 10, they're still young. Yes, yeah, believe me. Yeah, dude, I've had the fastest car, and I've had some unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate mishaps here, man. So, endurance racing, man, is just just one of those things, man. You know, that's what makes it fun. Yeah, I was like. I didn't lose the clutch. <laughs> I know, no doubt, dude. I also want to see if I can pit, get back out, stay in front, or run y'all down again, you know what I mean? Yeah, just save them for a different track. Well, you can save them for a different tracks, what I do. Because you can load, you can load it up. Well, you can load it up before the race. That's what I did last week. Nobody knew I had that tune. I had it saved for another track. I loaded it up right before the dang race started. Yeah, see that right there? I messed up that lap. I still was a 45 too. Well, consistency, that's what he's looking at. Whether or not it might be slower, it's, it might be close to what your last lap was, you know what I mean? That might be. So you want consistency, whether you're slow one lap, fast the next, as long as you can stay within a couple tenths. That's what you're looking at, you know? You don't want one lap to be a 45 flat and your next one a 46, you know what I mean? You kind of want it to be a 45 flat and then a a 45 5 or something like that you know it's what you want to try to stay in I mean it don't always work out that way but that's that's your ultimate goal and basically the only way to do it is just you know just run your own race man there nobody around you and don't worry about nobody around you run your own race run the line it's what I do when I get out here I don't worry about anybody else. I don't worry about running my line. Yeah, I'm 45 3 right here. If I can stay within that range, so see how consistent that was? I was within a tenth the last two laps. Mm -hmm. 
Dang, what are you running, man? You ain't running 45s? I ain't pick it up, homie. You ain't been at 46 range. You, you ain't doing something. Concentrate or something. Can't slow down to 47. You gotta at least be in the 46s. The bare minimum. That should be your goal. At least run at least the 46s. We'll see when they practice this weekend. I mean, if they come out and they're all faster, hey, great, you know. Yeah, that's what I look at. Lovely driving. Pace is very strong. There's a 44.7. I have to break earlier in that first turn because I'm bringing so much damn speed coming into it. Worried about Sane back there, man. I'm worried about him. Look, look, back on slow mode, back on the McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> look, we beat up on him. Well, I haven't started to lose the tires yet. This thing hasn't started to get slick yet, so. Lap 14, so that's a good feeling. Better than what it was the other night. Whoa, there she came out on me. Sorry, I did that myself. So we'll see. I still say lap 25 is probably going to be the number. 25-28 pit. If I can get 10 second lead. Just need to watch. Well, I'll tell you, you can watch this Twitch after. You can watch this race afterwards. I mean, I got it twitched right now, so you can see how the car goes. I mean, see what I'm doing. I mean, I think you'll be, I think you'll be surprised at how the car looks. Because you're gonna be like, damn, it don't look any different than what mine does going into the turns. You know what I mean? Now, I mean, I can make it come out from under me, yes. You know, but... Hell, I could do that with full down force, you know what I mean? What I'm worried about is what this thing's going to feel like at lap 25. That's where I'm wanting to... Wanting to, um... That's going to be my telltale right there. If we can run this whole race without changing tires and stay out of trouble, it's over with. I just don't see it happening with this car. I don't know. I mean, I can run it as long as I can if I feel like the car isn't losing grip and I'm not slowing down that much. You know, I know you're going to lose a little pace, but if I'm not losing, if I'm not losing two seconds at a time or something and not kicking the rear end out every turn then I probably can push it to the 44 without tires I mean, we're at lap 15 right now so that's a long way to go still 
and I'm still running 45 fours. So if he can run, if he can run a 46, then Sam should be able to run a 46 around this track. But can he do it consistently? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Consistency, man. That's what it's all about, dude. Not about being the fastest every time. As long as you can keep those times within half a second of each other, you're good. That's what you want. Half second of each other, man. I wear gloves. I wear gloves. Get you a pair of gloves, man. I went and got me a pair of gloves, like the mechanics gloves and all. They really help. Because it takes the impact, well, it takes the impact off of your fingers and hands. You know what I mean? There's a 45-2. So, I mean, see, I'm staying within, what, two and three tenths of each lap. Yeah, if I don't get no floppy wheels going on, man. Yeah, but I just don't know what this car's going to start doing here in the next 10 laps, man. What are you doing? For the most part, tire wear is running evenly. Yeah. Yeah, 45.7, so... I am staying dead damn consistent. fun to drive, I'll tell you that much. So, 
but yeah. It takes a workout on your knees and stuff. Level. Keep that uh, 45 2. Work. So I haven't dropped out of the 45s, man. It's, it's staying dead in it. For 18 laps to do that. Yeah, see. Uh, 61 liters. Likes gas, don't it? Well, I think it's got. I think it's got a VT in it. Though, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a forty-five-five. Yeah, this thing's like dead damn consistent. I mean, we're talking about, yeah, we're talking about, like, dead on. Yeah. I ain't gonna get too happy. Let's see what they run first. That's what I thought of Silverstone, too. Well, I was out in front there, so... The bug caught me on that one. The first one wouldn't have been so bad. The second one's what killed me. Well, the first one, I say I could have made up for it. See, because on the first one, so both on the first one, when Weed went by me, he was only seven seven seconds ahead of me. Okay, but when I had that second one, I dropped 20 seconds behind it, and then it happened to him. Problem is, I could only get in front of him by like four seconds by then. If the second one wouldn't have happened, I'd have been like 15, 20 seconds, and it never caught me. You know, it ran out of time. Last 10 laps. So the second one, the first one hurt, the second one buried me. But, yeah, that's what it is. What times are you running, man?
I the 145 flat, man. So far so good, man. It hasn't come out from under me, you know what I mean? It's 22 laps. Well, now I can't hit every bump on this track, man. You need to, um, uh, you need to soften that suspension up, man. That's what you need to do. Um, I probably could give you a base two on that car. See, that car bounces anyways. Last time I drove it, it likes to bounce. Yeah. Driving out there, that's great pace. Yeah, 145 4. I mean, this game's just. Keep up the good work. If in 22 laps I can keep it that consistent and keep it up under me like it's doing, as long as it drives like this, I'm happy. Oh no, I'm doing 45s on full tanks, man. I ain't dropped out of 45s the whole entire race, homie. Not hit 44s in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we we well, I'm 46s, man. I I say it's a slow lap if I hit 46. I done did something wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, give me a give me a second, man. Where you see that at? Get on straight away first. What am I looking for? Um, 163, 174, 179, 176. That's all around. Uh, a little bit of staying, staying. Fronts are staying like 161, 175. They're all staying about constant one in between. Strong pace, great job. 170 and 180. Concentrate, man. Concentrate, homie. Don't, o don't overthink it, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't overthink it. Yeah, but I had to up my uh, brake duck. I had to up it to 56, man. Because I was cooking the damn brakes, dude. I'm also running I'm also running no downforce on this car too. Running no downforce.
It's holding. I <laughs> mean, man, problem was going down the straightaway. I was pulling like a mug. Switch off. We're building a really good gap now. Second, keep it up. Oh no, flat 20. That's a badass car. Yes. Yeah, controller's gonna be more aggressive on tires, man, period. Way more aggressive. I can be smooth. You can watch me on Twitch, man, and watch how I'm running. I mean, yeah, I mean, just look me up. It's Big Daddy X 2005. No, it's I actually spelled it right on the Twitch. It's Big Daddy X 2005. I wasn't gonna pay ten bucks to fix it on Xbox Live, so I, I've just I've just left it since you know 2005. I do notice the brakes are starting to grab more. Yep, starting to yank the car. Grabbing the car. Yeah. I mean, they're only sitting at 1100. I can compensate that with brake balance, though, man, if it starts pulling the car like that to one side. Put more brake in the front and it'll kill it. Oh, yeah. You know, the Porsche was down on, on everything to begin with. Yeah. Well, now, I'm, I'm running a pretty weird camber here, which I'm surprised because it actually should only be for, like, a hot lap setup. I mean, I'm running, like, you know, a, a point .9, minus point .9 in the front, like a minus point .2 in the rear, some weird stuff, you know what? I mean, I figured I'd try it, and like I say, it hasn't. better turn them. Uh, well, if you don't have any camber, none, if you zeroed it out, it's good for speed, but it's going to eat the tires faster, in theory. Because, you know, most race cars run negative two, at least, you know, in real life. Um, but for some reason, this car yeah, because most race cars run negative two, for real. Um, I, it's just this car for some reason can run zero, and, it's, and it does fine. I didn't go zero because I don't want to test that theory in a long race whether or not it will. Yeah, because. Yeah, because you're only going to wear, you know, the inner or outer of it, depending on which way you're going. You know, 
also depends on your shocks and all that stuff too. You know that all plays a a a, 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 a role, so to speak, in it. This thing is still glued, man. Kind of. I just ran a 44.9 right there at lap 28, man. I mean, I am not losing time and almost running 30 laps. So you know I'm not sliding at rear end. Why? And I'm already and I'm already two seconds faster than the field. Why take a chance? Tear the car up. You know what I mean? I want the car stable for the long haul. I don't want it just fast pass. I mean if I was, you know, time running, yeah. I'd go all out or some crap. But I qualify with a with a forty three. Yeah, we're in a little race right now, man. Oh, we're doing a practice race. Yeah, we're doing a practice race. Same track, same amount of laps. We're on lap 28 right now. What I'm testing right now is to see how much this car drops off as the laps go on. I'm at 36 liters of fuel and it's still not coming out from under me. And my lap times are 45 one. Well, like I said, I got to get out front first. I mean, anything can happen in an endurance race, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, if I get out front in front of everybody, then, yeah, if they let me go, pretty much, yeah. Unless somebody... Unless somebody just, you know, miraculously shows up with an awesome tune. Sang ain't saying nothing. Where's he at? Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Man, don't worry about the guy behind you. Don't worry about the guy behind you, man. You'll make mistakes if you do. You can tell if a guy is much faster than you are. That's a 44.8 right there. Well, if he's behind you, I know he's not running 44s. See, this thing, man, still has not got slick. I have not lost a rear end one bit. That has surprised me one a lot right there. 30 laps and this baby's still glued. If I could take this thing home without changing tires, yeah, they're done. Yeah, I mean, I know everybody's gonna go for fuel, but I'm trying to get it to where I don't have to take tires, but I 
Oh, we got 44 laps. You're going to have to take fuel, man. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it's 44. Yeah, we're going to have to pit for fuel. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, I think I right now I've got it set to change tires, but I don't know what I got it set to. Strong pace, great job. 44.8 right there. So that's two 44s back to back. I'm definitely going to save this tune. I don't know if anybody's watching me on Twitch or not. Oh, okay. I don't have my phone in front of me to the chat thing, so I can't see it. Big Daddy X. Yeah, just do a search by people. Do a search by people, then Big Daddy X 2005. Four three right there. I don't know. Big Daddy X two thousand five. Should show me racing in the hood view. I missed that turn up. Pay attention. Yeah, I haven't changed my damn title.
I mean, I'm running at 1100, so. Yes. Yeah, they cool down, I mean, some, you know what I mean? I see Wolf, you can see man, I'm not sliding the car, you know what I mean? Watch this lap right here. 439. <laughs> I knew that was a fast lap, man. It was like almost near perfect, man. I was just cruising. God, this car feels like it's on damn rails, man. I know Wolf is watching. That's what I said. Damn. I like it, whatever it is. I must have, man. Put some damn what a VHT, man. They run the drag strip on this shit. differential right there man that's a strong pace the lead is increasing keep up the great work yeah but I'm surprised how much these tires are still glued to the ground Yeah, I get in the gas about mid-turn off, you know. I mean, that was a good S-turn right there. Y'all see that lap. I know you got the lap delayed. So. He spun out and hanging out on the side of the road. Wow. Great work out there. Nathan really still forty four. Not the pit soon. Thirty six laps is still blue. That's impressive. I was kind of worried about this car the other day. As long as this thing don't change. Come this Sunday. Yeah. 
who knows, man. Front stretch, ain't you? I just saw you on my mini map. Lovely driving out there, that's great pace. Putting a good clean gap for second place now. Keep up the good work. At least my brakes don't feel like they gave out. Whoa, I went into that one hard. I went into hard. Lap 37, we coming in to pit. boys hurry up prom's coming prom's coming hurry up he's about to take the lead on me hurry up I'm still 22 seconds ahead. We ain't got four tires. That's what I want right there now. Boy, if I can do that on Sunday, hell yeah. Yeah, I changed tires. Got the four tires. I only put 30 liters of fuel. That's all I needed. Do what? <laughs> we noticed. Trying to help you out, saying. <laughs> yeah, motivates me. <laughs> uh 
Well, we'll be on to the next one by the end. <laughs> Nah, that's, look, that's when I'll, look, that's when I'll come out here, that's when I'll come out here and put six liters of fuel and close everything up, run 42. <laughs> I'll be like, there you go. If he can get it around the turns, it might be all right. You know? It's all going to depend on the driver, man. I'd like for you to broad it out, man. I want to see if I can beat that bit. Dang, man. I, I, want, I want you on your best car. You know I me? Mean? Come on now. I don't know if I want to do another 44 laps or not, man. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. That's ran a 44 too. Best ever is 43.7, but that's qualifying. Right? So. so, they'd run a 43.9 a minute ago. Mine were two. I really don't think I needed a change, but when I've got a minute 20 second lead, why not? You know what I'm saying? That's our second warning for cutting the track. Be careful, otherwise we'll get pulled off the track. <laughs> yeah. Hey, watch the car, guys, while you're out there, man. I need the oil change, too. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to have to change fuel. I only put 30, 30 liters in. Put 30 liters, man. Yeah, but he's a he's a 14 liters because he's still on the track for half the time. Boy, man. still pretty good so I think the 56 works out pretty well yeah 56 I had to yeah I had to man because I'm hard on the brakes man I need them at the end of the race I depend on my brakes. See, this load cell pedal man on this thing man helps a lot. I can brake real late with it. I 
I know, it's terrible. I need to get quick. They gonna be somebody running down 41. They gonna be somebody come out running 41. Hmm. Unless you got wings. I'm running 44 fives right now, so. That's what I want to see out of this car. Especially this rate in the race. How many leaders you got? Oh yeah. As long as I'm not a minute 20 seconds in front of you. That's great, Pete. You know what I'm Look saying? You're gonna have to start. You're gonna have. You would have to start letting off off the gas, short shifting, letting it coast through the turns a lot more. It's not worth it to run out on the last lap though. Especially if everybody else is going to pit. I mean, it might be somebody tried, you know. But the thing is, I don't know if they're going to want to try it or not because they're going to have to start letting off all the gas. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not letting off the gas saving fuel. So then I'm gonna be gaining even more time on them if I'm out front. So it really, it would be irrelevant if they could go all the way because I still can go into pits and get back out the pits in front of them. Or get into pits and be right behind them and then I'm gonna still blow right by them, you know what I mean? So, I, I think we're gonna see some guys. Yeah, you need, that's what you need, man. I mean, I probably didn't have to, but for the sake of I was so far ahead, why not, you know? I got a feeling there's going to be some other people change tires too. They're not going to try to run it all the way. They're going to want that full grip back, you know?
all depends on how your car is acting too, man. You know, and I mean that's gonna dictate what you do. And in 44 laps, this thing never once stepped out from under me, man. Like I say, it's running no downforce. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Very impressed. There's a 144.1 on the last lap. So, nah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? 144 what thing? Damn, still 9 tenths in front of him. 8 tenths. All the same. <laughs> Better grab another beer, man. Better go get in that Bentley. That's all I have to say. Pull that Bentley out. Just to see what happens. When he brings out the fucking Queen's, the Queen's chauffeur.